here we have the Fable interface. We will start by adding the images to the project. I draw some images for this project. They are not the best images, but they will work. Then we create a body and replace the texture. For example, here I select the wall texture. Then I um, adjust the circle texture. It doesn't fit well, so I create a new, new fixture and delete the old one. This very same process will be repeated for the uh, for all the next items. Now here we have a special case. It's a irregular polygon, so we can pick the irregular polygon tool and create a shape that fits this texture. We keep uh, doing this. This is the locomobile. It looks nice. Uh, to all the other uh, textures and the one after that we will start creating the layers uh, the layers will allow us to uh, distribute all the fifty bodies uh, and for example to keep uh, the locomobile in front of the terrain and the wheels in front of the locomobile and the wagon now that we have all the necessary layers, we will start to distribute all the elements in its corresponding layers. For this we just, uh, well first we will start copying and pasting, well duplicating some elements. Uh, the copy paste function is that as in any other program, you select the body, I click Ctrl C and Ctrl U V. Then we will start to distribute all the elements in its corresponding layers. Um, there we have all, all, all this correctly distributed. Then we will start to order the layers because we want to have um, the terrain at the very back and um, the locomobile in, in front of everything and it will also be in front of everything. So, now that everything is correctly distributed, we will start to uh, uh, join uh, all the bodies with joints. So, uh, this is a prismatic joint, the others were was a um, revolution. Now we add the root and we discover that it's misplaced in the layer panel so we fixed it and added the uh, revolute to joints. There we have. Then we change the mask bit of the root because uh, we don't want it to collide with the locomobile. It will not collide with the wheel nor the piston because it is linked to them but it may be colliding with uh, the locomobile so that's why we uh, change the mask bit. Then we select the joint of the big wheel and enable the motor, set a force and a speed. After that, uh, now the simulation is running, we can see that we have a small issue there with the root, probably because the revolute joint is joining the root to the locomobile instead to the wheel and the piston, so we delete the joints and then uh, lock all the elements, all the layers, except the ones that corresponds to the root, the piston and the wheel. Uh, when we have uh, only those layers available, we will attach, uh, we will add the revolution join again and it should uh, be working fine. Let's see if, if it is fixed and it is, it is fixed and <coughs> we have our small train working and it looks pretty nice we can play around with it a little bit it's pretty strong you can um, do a, a lot of uh, small testing there it is without the the collision shapes because in the final project you will likely not to see uh, those parts on the textures working uh, you can see that the collisions are being uh, processed in a correctly manner uh, for example if I, if I put the log in, in 
on top of the locomobile, it respects the locomobile shape. And there you have. Then, for example, we can uh, save the project. It was already saved, but it doesn't matter. And then, uh, when the project is saved uh, somewhere, and we clicked on publish, in file publish, it will create all the files for working outside the program that includes a texture map, a texture atlas. There you have it. <coughs> Uh, because of the configuration is uh, a lot of wa wasted space <coughs> you can fix that or you can uh, decrease the default size of the texture <coughs> and uh, the XML with all the definition of the world that will include uh, all the bodies, the pictures, the joints and the texture so uh, it's a pretty complete uh, XML you only need to pass it in your own program now here you can see uh, the undo and redo stack working, you can undo and redo all the steps in, in, the, in the program. Um, so it's pretty useful, you know it is. So well, that is everything, I hope you have enjoyed my video. Um, I don't know if you want to subscribe, you can download um, the program for free in a link that I leave uh, below. Thank you.